Hello, 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 Ventrilogos world. It's me, Al Gettler. Sorry for the break. I kind of took a video break of interviews there. I think I had video burnout, but I'm back. Look at this. But I'm back for a really, really important reason. Uh, we have some really special stuff going on here tonight. Uh, joining me in a few minutes is going to be uh, the fabulous Lisa Sweezy from Venthaven Museum. Also joining me is going to be one of our board of advisor members who's world renowned, uh, one of the most creative guys that I know. Uh, I have loved him and known him for a long time. Uh, and so he's going to join us. And then you got to hang around on this broadcast. I'm going to say it a couple of times. We are going to have some special uh, stuff happening here, a very special guest. Now, I want to tell you, you can comment during this uh, um, this 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 um, live stream. We are on Venthaven Conventions page. We are on Venthaven Museum's page. We are on World Vents. Thank you, Conrad Hartz. We are on Ventriloquist Workshop. Thank you, Jimmy V. We are on Ventriloquist Network. Thank you, Sue Johnson. We are on uh, the Edgar Bergen Fan Page. Thank you, uh, Tyler Ellis. Uh, we are on uh, a couple of my channels as well, just to make sure we capture it all. Uh, and I'm watching right now uh, as the viewership climbs. We've got a really good group here. Let me show you some of the people that are here. If you're here, say hi, because this is the time and I kind of hang and wait for people to show up while our other guests are just kind of in the back room. So let's first start saying hi to my good buddy, who always deserves to be first, Dwayne Eccles. Hello, Dwayne. How are you? How's the weather out there? I am so jealous. Of course, Venthaven Museum is saying hello because they need to, right? I mean, that's why uh, we're here. So I'm not sure which one of them typed it, but it uh, could be that guy right there. But Venthaven says hi. There's our pen, our friend Peter. Hi, Peter. Peter, you are such a sweet man. Thank you for investigating the Santa possibilities for me yesterday. That's about the sweetest thing anybody's done for me this week, so I appreciate it. Here is my... Uh, my newer friend and my buddy, Tom Pace, new to the vent scene. And I got to tell you, Tom is just lighting it up. What a great guy. Super, super nice guy. Well, you guys are coming on here faster than I can say hello to you. Let's say hi to Stephanie Pierce. Stephanie, I am not sure where you're from. Tell me where you're from, Stephanie. That would be great because I'm not familiar with where you live. So I'll look forward to that. We'll put that down, bring it back up again when you answer. Uh, Kerry Joe Miller, how are you? Always out there working hard. Uh, yes, yeah, say hi. I'll say hi to you, Gary Joe. There you go. Uh, out there performing a lot. I know a lot of us are on the sidelines right now, but um, there you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dwayne says hi again. Dwayne, I asked you what the weather was. Come on, man. Stick stick with me here, right? Uh, Ann Seaton is here. Hi, Ann. Awesome. Ann's joining us from uh, YouTube. Hi there. There's our buddy Lee Cornell. Look at that. Fantastic. With his Conrad Hartz figure, uh, a master at this. Uh, Linda Robinson's here. Hello, Venthaven. Um, let's see, Carrie Joe again. Uh, oh, by the way, let me keep this up here for a second. If you do not give Facebook permission for a live stream, uh, the, for this, 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 uh, software, your screen yard, if you don't give them permission, um, your name and your image will not appear. So, uh, that person who did that click again, you should get a pop-up that says, um, give permission. Yes, it's okay to give permission. It's not a problem at all. Dwayne, uh, Dwayne, are you telling me that I'm hot? Man, that's the best uh, compliment I've gotten probably all pandemic. So thanks a lot. Uh, Lisa's in from uh, Texas. And there's Stephanie with my answer. Hey, Massachusetts. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. That's good. I'm in Vermont, lived in Massachusetts for 14, 15 years. So just a lurker who enjoys watching everyone perform. You're not a lurker. You're, you're part of the team. That's awesome. Uh, hey, there's Barbara Baxter. Hi, Barbara. How are you? Good to see you. Let me go up and make sure I got everybody so far. But if you are there, go ahead and say hi. There's Blake. Hi, Blake. How are you? Good to see you. Wise guys, huh? Woo, 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 woo. Good deal. Good deal. Uh, all right. So super. We uh, we have got uh, some folks showing up here. A good audience. I'm going to have join me now. It is uh, almost 720. Time to get the ball rolling here. She is live. She is uh, from uh, uh, Fort Mitchell, Kentucky. She is at the Venthaven Museum. Uh, and uh, you are going to be so excited to see her because we haven't seen her uh, for over a year, right? It's been a while. Uh, and so let me bring her on right now, ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous, always fabulous, 
Lisa Sweezy. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Al. Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in tonight. It's yeah. really, I really appreciate you uh, hosting us tonight, Al. I do. I really appreciate it a lot. It is always my pleasure. I'm looking. My face has gotten bigger, I think, since the last live stream, Lisa. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> looks the same to me. I have to keep my hands like that from now oh, on. Okay. We've been the years back, something like that. So, Lisa, you're here for a really, really cool reason. Yes. Uh, and uh, I'm going to have you kind of explain what's going on here. Wait a minute. Hold on. Of course, we have people that have to say hi to you. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, we get our – Oh, not hi, you. Hi, Dwayne. Yeah, Dwayne, yeah. But hi from Ed and Hugo. We have to say hi to them. Oh, hi, Ed. Hi, from pizza. Hi, Tom. People. Not pizza from people. Uh, you get hello there. Look at that. Oh, look at this. This person's unidentified. Oh, that might be Barbara Baxter. We always compliment each other by. I calling bet you it is. People. Barbara, give permission yeah. to live stream so it we know. Might be Barbara. Yeah, absolutely. And this person's saying morning. So. Oh wow. I think he's in Australia, if I recall. Oh okay. Hi Adelaide. I think so. That's awesome. Good, 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 good stuff. So. Uh, Let's uh, let's kind of jump into this. I have okay. a couple of things that I, I'm, I'm going to set up while you're explaining this. Okay. So I'm going to give the screen to you. Okay. And go ahead and tell folks what is going on. All right. All right. Well, first, thanks, everybody, for tuning in tonight to get more information about the event. We were trying to accomplish two things with this event that we're having. One of them was to offset the loss of tourism income that we had this year. We were off about 60 Six zero, sixty percent from our normal tourism income. That's completely separate from the convention. That's just regular tourism. So we wanted to have an end of the year fundraiser that would go towards offsetting some of that expense. And then on the other hand, we wanted to do something where we could uh, share what the our current vision for the new museum is. As you all hopefully know, we did meet the fundraising goal for the building structure itself. And so um, we took our architects drawings that we had made up a couple years ago and we've modified them and my husband Brian built a um, a 3d tour in uh, virtual reality in a program called tilt brush so the event is going to be Monday night and it's at uh, seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time I will be wearing the VR headset and giving you whoever's whoever's in the group a walkthrough of how we're envisioning the new museum to look so if you've met my husband brian you know he's got quite a sense of humor he has added some things to the museum including um dummy stand-ins for example he's using um he found a a, a dummy of um or a statue of Alfred Hitchcock, for example. So there's gonna be all kinds of stuff in there that's not really part of the collection, but it's a, it's gonna be a whole lot of fun and it'll give everybody a chance to visualize what it's going to be like. Uh, nothing is permanent or set in stone, but this is where our vision stands today. And it is the the um, blueprint that the, that the um, architects are using to upgrade the plan. So we're really excited about it. Um, I think, I don't know, Al, if you made um, a crawler of the people who've already joined or anything like that or uh, how to join, but we can go into that whenever you want. Yeah, I, I did do that. I thought uh, before I do that though, Lisa, there are some people who are joining us actually yeah. that um, might not even know anything about Venthaven because we're on a couple different channels. Okay. So can you kind of give the basics of Venthaven? Sure. And while you're doing that, I'm going to bring up on the screen uh, the, the rendering of the property uh, and that will give sure. folks an idea of what you're talking about and where yeah. the new museum is going to head. So go ahead with that. Tell folks about Venthaven Museum, what okay. it is and, and just, you know, where it is now and Sure. And I'll put this image up and people will be able to see what you're talking about. Okay. Vent Haven Museum is the world's only museum dedicated to ventriloquism. Uh, we're located just south of Cincinnati, Ohio, in northern Kentucky, in a little town called Fort Mitchell. And the reason that the world's only ventriloquism museum is in Fort Mitchell, Kentucky, is because our founder, W.S. Berger, uh, started it as a private collection. Uh, he got his first little dummy in 1910. And then he, um, by the mid-30s, he started collecting in earnest. And by the time he died in 1972, he had about 500 dummies and puppets. We are now, I think, I've, I think I got number 930, no, excuse me, 993 in the mail this week. So the collection has almost doubled since Mr. Berger passed away. And so for the last, 
the last three years or so, we have been uh, fundraising to build a new facility. So what Al is showing here is the footprint of our new building, which will take down two of the current buildings, um, two that are small, and it will leave two, the little small ones behind the house there. There you go. There's one and there's the other one. Thank you, Al. Um, so we will... Um, we're going to have this huge facility with a basement and storage and parking, and we'll be solving a lot of the problems that have kind of uh, been impediments to us over the decades um, by having a museum essentially in a residential area. So we're very excited about it. And um, we've been, like I said, we've been raising money for about three years and we met our fundraising goal this summer, which is amazing. And that is a hundred percent due to the generosity of the vent community and then to local businesses and foundations who have also stepped up to help us. So if you've contributed in any way at all, thank you so much because this dream is happening. It's becoming a reality. It's incredible. And I'm going to um, just point out real quickly, uh, you mentioned this is a residential neighborhood. So Vent Haven, um, this was a, originally, this was a private home for those of you that don't know. Uh, W.S. Berger was a textile executive, started collecting figures, lived in a neighborhood, lived in West Maple Avenue, house across the street, you know, all this that you see. Yeah. So, um, not only is it amazing that this project's happening, but it's also fantastic that the support of Fort Mitchell, Kentucky is there and that this thing's going to happen. So yeah. if you've been there before, you know what I'm talking about. It's a, it's a really exciting thing to happen. And uh, I mean, right behind here, of course, is the highway and the Mercedes Benz um, dealership and right. fairly busy corner up here, but, but still it's really a fantastic thing. So let me stop there, Lisa. I'll stop okay. sharing that and we'll come back. And you mentioned the crawl before. So while you're talking about the event, let me add some names up here okay. and uh, and maybe kind of give folks the mechanics of how this works. All right. Sure. This uh, this crawler right now, these are my early adopters. When I first posted this event, uh, I think a week or 10 days ago, I had a bunch of people that right away jumped in and said that they wanted to participate. So these people specifically, I really would like to say thank you to. Um, the way we're doing this so that it's a fundraiser is that we're asking people to basically offset our tourism loss uh, by donating $15 or more. And so um, I think everybody on here, I mean, the, 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 the people that are going across this list 99% of those people donated more than $15. And I appreciate that so much. I hope that, that each of you knows how significant it is that you continue to support the museum. So thank you so much. So they're already um, in the group or they could be if they asked me. If you're not in the group yet, if I haven't, if I haven't added you in, uh, you need to request to join it. Uh, the name of the group is um, Vent Haven Virtual Tour. But if, excuse me, you can, um, if you ask me to join, I, I will let you into the group and that's where the virtual tour will be on Monday night. So well, I'll point out there's two lists. So I just put the, the second list up there. So yeah. um, that's running and I'll switch back to the other list and I'll let you know when I do that. Okay. And I want to say hi to Brian Willenbrink. I see him on my Facebook feed there. And, um, he was, I just want you to know, Brian, in front of everybody here, you were one of my all-time favorite students a million years ago. I taught that guy geometry in the 90s, and I can't believe <laughs> so I'm so excited he's here to say hi. Hi, Brian. And his, his parole <laughs> officer is here too, Lisa. So, oh, it's, oh, that's what it is. I, I don't know. Again. Forgive me. Excuse me if it, that was that's just a joke. It's a joke. It's, it's a, a joke. joke. This is a it's comedy a joke. For God's sake. So, Lisa, I'm going um, to come back to you here in a second. I'm kind okay. of in the background messing around with a couple of things. Okay. Um, but we are um, we are going to uh, also then switch to uh, a, a, a a few color still images, and then as we get okay. a little deeper into this, we're going to jump into um, some of the images that are, uh, are are part of the video. But let me share my screen again. Okay. And uh, I am going to show everybody, or you can talk everybody through. These are these are rudimentary images, yeah. but this folks an idea of what it is we're talking about. What Brian, sure. the fabulous Brian, who's at the grocery store right now, has yeah. created. So there you yeah. go. So talk okay. us through this. So this is a a screenshot yeah. of the WS. Okay, so Brian built this in virtual virtual reality, and he created a group called Van Haven Museum Tour Practice. Well, if you know him, you know he's got a really fun sense of humor. So this yeah. is a screen grab of what the WS Burger 
uh, exhibit will look like. And it cracks me up because that's an Alfred Hitchcock image that he pulled. And oh, I thought it was Alfred Gettler. So that's good. that's supposed to be Champagne Charlie, if you're familiar oh, with W.S. Tonight, we'll, tonight we'll tour the museum. <laughs> <laughs> the little monkey there. The, uh, is supposed to be Jocko the monkey. Oh, yeah, I got the humor in that. I did. And then the yeah. the little skull with the with the VR headset on that's supposed to be uh, the <laughs> Hamlet skull. Oh, and then the two cool. little dummies sitting there. One of them is Skinny Hamilton, and the other one is, of course, uh, Tommy Baloney, the first dummy he got. So yeah. that's kind of how he um, populated the rooms. Uh, this is another screenshot from a gallery that we'll walk through uh, where we'll be talking almost exclusively about figure making. Uh, right now, that's a small part of the tour as it exists, but we plan to make that a bigger a bigger deal to feature more artists than we are currently featuring. So we're really excited about that. Yeah, and we just had a brand new figure maker join the board of advisors too in Austin. Yes. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, that's yes. really great. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Good deal. And here's the bleacher <laughs> room redone, right? <laughs> Yes, this is the bleacher room redone. So Brian, it, there's actually, you'll see it's not exactly like the current bleacher room. There's a side you're not being able to see here. But um, but Brian was able to download bleachers of fans, apparently, like the you know artwork of, yes. of people. So those are supposed to be dummies. And and he said, do you think people are going to think all the dummies have to have their hands up in the air? And I Listen, said, I think they need to from now on. I think that's going to be the <laughs> to be true to form. The new so pose. The kind Absolutely. of imagery that that my husband imported, which I love is fun and it's lighthearted. Um, the the, the tour the itself will be walking through. So we will be yeah. in motion. It'll be. Yeah, so I think that's, a, that's an important point for people to realize that um, the tour itself is going to be uh, virtual in that you're going to walk through and these depictions. And, and again, folks, these are just showing you the layout to understand how the museum looks, but yeah. it's, the, you guys are going to be the first ones. If you sign up for this tour, to be a part of this tour and the first Heck one yeah. to the layout of the museum. Yeah, and in a few minutes, I'm going to premiere just a short, short little clip of. of did you clip it? I did. I took a little clip oh, of it okay. and okay. I'll set that up uh, while you're talking, but why don't you talk some more and thank some of the folks that are, that have donated and I'll sure. put them across the bottom here again. And yeah. I'm going to go ahead and set that video up. Okay. That's good. These, um, like I said, everybody here, uh, was an early adopter. And so you can, if you haven't yet signed up for it, but you want to do it, you will just go to venthaven.org forward slash donate. And there's a button there to donate um, digitally. And I think it's got you know, buttons where it's like $15 or whatever. Um, and 15 is what we're asking people to donate to help cover, cover the, um, the loss of tourism revenue. When I get the notice that you have donated, that comes to my email, I will respond to you and give you the direct link to the group. But if you've already donated and um, haven't, some people have donated, but they haven't gotten in the group yet, but you can find it. Anybody can find it. It's called Vir Vent Haven Virtual Tour. Anybody can find it on Facebook. So that's yeah. how you do it. And I hope that more people sign up because I do think it's going to be a lot of fun. And this is our last fundraiser of the year. We're not going to do Giving Tuesday or anything else like that. So if you're able to do it, uh, we'd really appreciate it. If it's not, if, if it's not good for you, then that's okay too. But I do think it's going to be a lot of fun. I agree. So listen, one of the guys that jumped on here immediately, he's part of our board of advisors, handsome devil, just like, you know, super handsome devil. Uh, he made uh, special arrangements to be here today. He had a shuffleboard tournament to get done. No, kidding. Uh, <laughs> but uh, he is going to join us right now uh, and uh, he'll tell you where he is and what's going on. But let's welcome a board of advisor member, one of my all time favorite ventriloquists. Mr. Jim Barber. Hi, Jim. Hey. Hi, hey, Jim. Lisa. Hey, Al. It's great to be here with you. Good to see you. Tell me, Jim, where are you right now? I am uh, in a historic theater built in 1936 called the Owen Theater. It's Branson's oldest uh, theater here in downtown Branson, Missouri. And where my office is, it used to be the projection booth. And uh, the window behind me would look down on the stage. Uh, where the screen is. And uh, for the last, oh, almost four years now, I've been the executive director of the Branson Regional Arts Council. And we do everything from uh, community theater shows, great musicals, uh, plays, comedy plays. We have a youth education program for 
kids uh, up through high school to learn acting, singing, dance, music, vocal lessons, piano lessons. Uh, we do a lot of different things, and we've uh, pretty much been virtual online this year. Uh, yeah. So it's been a challenge, and it, we're a nonprofit, just like Vent Haven, and we're also down about 60% in revenue this year. Yeah. So it's a big totally. challenge. Yeah, uh, really. But really. I tell you, I'm totally impressed with the work that Lisa and everyone has done on this fundraiser. I mean, it's <laughs> it's unheard of to be able to raise that much money in only three years. And, and yeah. I mean, Incredible. this really is a testament to the love that our uh, entertainers have for this art form. It really uh, is. For the longevity that we see in the future. And uh, this museum is really something spectacular. I, I can't wait. Wow, you sound like you're running for office, Jim. So, <laughs> I don't know. Go. Politics is a little tough these days. Uh, well, I haven't heard it. Yeah, my TV's <laughs> broken. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Wait, what was that? What did you just say? It's fantastic. I tell you, I'm just, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay. I'm right here forever. I'll be the president of Vent Haven Museum. Oh, no, you won't. <laughs> right I'll be lurking behind every corner. Oh, <laughs> It'll be oh you know, for those of you that have not been to the convention, was it two years ago, Jim? You showed up with your with your MAGA hat on and ran around. Too. I think yeah. you probably took a, a 1,500 pictures in the first day with people. That was absolutely hysterical. So <laughs> that wow. was great. Well, listen, we are going to premiere right now the a uh, little bit of the tour, a little bit of what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And again, I want to say to folks, look, this is about a couple of things. We need you to help uh, Vent Haven Museum make up for the tour income that was lost during yes. COVID. Yes. So that bill is about $6,000 to be made up. So that's one of the biggest reasons why the very lovely and talented Brian Sweezy, Brian Sweezy okay. um, did, this, uh, did this virtual tour that he put together that Lisa will lead for us on this uh, by invitation only Facebook page, or not by invitation only, by acceptance only. So you've got to donate to be accepted. And thank uh, Jim, you, Dwayne Eccles just donated. So no, thank of course you, Dwayne. He did. Of course he did. He's just thank an you, amazing Dwayne. guy. Just I got amazing you. Guy. Yeah, in fact, while we're talking, I'll, I'll let that run again because I'm about to premiere the tour video. And hang around, folks, because we got a very special guest coming up here, another Board of Advisor member who uh, has a pretty uh, interesting and fun thing coming up uh, really soon. So maybe you can guess who that is. Uh, but yeah, he'll be joining us in just a few minutes. Uh, but these are all the folks that have donated so far. Add Dwayne's name to that and you're all set to go. So uh, let the last name go by. And Lisa and Jim, are you ready for this? Uh, there you go. Nice job, Jim. Well done. Well done. Well, I can't do that. Remind, oh, me, of, remind me of the George Costanza <laughs> hand model episode of Seinfeld. That's what that reminds I didn't, me of. I didn't do it very well, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. Here we go. So watch, I'm going to reach over. I'm going to reach over and stick my finger in Al's ear. Okay. Uh -huh. Wait, uh -huh. no, this way. Well, you know what's yeah. awful? Uh, that video <laughs> did not show up where it was supposed to. Uh -oh. uh, share it. So I don't think we're going to get that done. For some okay. reason, that video uh, software did not show up. Lisa I'll and I can reenact it. How about that? We'll just reenact yeah. it. I'll be a dummy. Okay, here I am. This is what it's going to be like for me. Yeah. Oh, look at this, Let you me guys. Put the back up here again. In the meantime, you guys can do the uh, the host chat while I'll try to figure out the technical difficulties of why. Yeah. I'll switch to a different player and see if I can't get. Oh, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. You guys keep talking. Okay. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna drop it right into the PowerPoint presentation here, and that's okay. what's gonna work. So let me do that while you guys. Okay are talking to folks. I'll, I'll yeah. talk to Lisa. And Lisa, thank you so much for putting my old show poster on the wall behind you there. I can, oh, oh, wait, that says Darcy <laughs> Oh, never mind. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I've got my little puppet display area there. That I've got my stuff for uh, Yeah, you're up in the attic too, aren't you? I am. I'm in my office in the attic and I've got, let's see what else. I got my big picture of Pinksy, I can't operate this camera. Where is it? Where did I put him? Got a, uh, hopefully that's not making anybody sick. There he is. I got Pinksy up here with me talking about figure making. Warley Santana's up here with me. And I wanted to say hi to, uh, to Arnold Kidla. He said, thanks. Thank you for copies of the letters from my dad to Lester. You are more than welcome. I love uh, sharing that stuff. So uh, yeah, how is, what's the weather like? And oh, look at this. 
Wait, hey. hold on now. Hold on now. I think I think I did it. Okay, okay, because I got two more donations. Thank you to David Harrod and Brittany Middens. They both donated in the last uh, couple minutes. So thank you so much. <clears throat> yeah, you can, awesome. you can always count on Brittany. I don't know her, but <clears throat> I've heard you can always count on her. So that's uh, that's a good thing. All right. <laughs> I am ready to take you guys back. <clears throat> I cleverly maneuvered it back to where we need to be. Okay. Everybody here, we'll try it again. We're gonna turn the volume off, so just in case I was cussing at that point. There's no volume whatsoever. I I was pre warned <laughs> by your husband and people in the neighborhood. So um, we'll take them through the slides again. So that's what you, Lisa showed. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Just a snippet. So, Lisa, just tell everybody what that is right there. Okay. So Brian was able to 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 bring in images from the outside. So there's my real car and the real, uh, the house there at Ven Haven, that's the driveway. And so this is where the building will actually set. So you'll see this, you're gonna be able to walk in here um, into the new building, but you'll see, I mean, look how far forward it's going to be compared to where, you know, building two is now at the end of the driveway. So it should be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Brittany's from the Holiday Inn. That's what oh, Annie's saying. Oh, wow, Brittany, you are the best. Thank I you. Remember. Thanks, Annie, Brittany, for letting I'm me know. That. I, I think I remember that. you. I really Thank do. You. That's so, so nice. Here we are inside. I'm going to cut it off quickly, or when you yeah, tell me to, Lisa, but there's one little the spot the I'm waiting for. There's the Dunham Theater. Yes. And hopefully we get yep. to see that other wall if I don't cut it off too quickly. But also what I'm hoping to say, I'm just going to say it in case we don't get there. Uh, are the uh, is the Dale and Leslie uh, Museum, uh, Dale and Leslie Brown Museum? Welcome uh, lobby, to the yeah. lobby there. So that's very very nice. Oh, but, nice, great. Yeah. I don't know if you want to keep on going, Lisa, but no, that's um, okay. That's enough. Okay, uh, good. It, it'll be. Uh, it's it. The whole thing should take about um, about a half an hour, and people will be able to ask questions and give comments. Annie will be moderating uh, on Monday night when we have this again. It's Monday night. Monday the 23rd at six o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And um, Annie will be answering on the, well, I think we're only gonna broadcast that here at the Vent Haven Museum page. Right. Um, so uh, that's where that should be. Yeah. Anyway. Hey Jim, tell me tell me something. Uh, tell me okay. about when you went to Vent Haven the very first time. Yes. And I remember, I think, because I believe I was Vent, uh, Vent Convention Chairman that year. Uh, tell me what you're it feeling. It was 1985 about. when I yeah. went for the very first time. No, 85. And no, it wasn't that. You were there before that. But mm -hmm. but tell us about when you, for people who have never been to the museum, what's it like for someone who, like you, has been, um, you know, uh, this has been your craft for a very long time, walking into that museum for the first time? Okay. Well, it, uh, as, you know, growing up in South Dakota where I grew up, I didn't know anyone who did ventriloquism, let alone show business. So, I kind of taught myself a little bit through books at the library, like a lot of people did. And I saw Edgar Bergen on television and Sherry Lewis. And so going to the museum for the very first time was um, mind blowing because of all the creativity that you see on display there. And you realize that, no, you're not the first person to come up with a clever idea. This has been going on since the days of vaudeville. I mean, there's so many ventriloquists throughout history that have had such great characters and creative uh, puppets and things that uh, most people don't know about because they don't see it. But when you go to the museum, mm -hmm. it's all there. It's a living history book. Yeah. And and uh, you you get to uh, pick up the characters and play with them. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no they are on display I and it's hands <laughs> off. Uh, in fact, all of the characters have to wear masks too, don't they? Now, yeah, and uh, but it it is uh, you do get to get up and close, up close and personal, yeah. but you don't you don't get to pick them up, no, yeah, because we yeah. want them to last forever. And yeah. so uh, this museum is there's nothing like it in in the world, and we are so for fortunate to have uh, a place like Vent Haven where we can go together, <laughs> gather as a uh, uh, a group of uh, professionals and amateurs alike and go in, keep the art form alive. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Wade has done such a tremendous job over the years, keeping this uh, convention yeah. growing and going. And, and uh, I tell you, even though we had to do it kind of virtually this year, uh, you know, it's not going to go away. You know, this whole 
if our if our uh, careers are not going away, if this art form is not going away, uh, you know, this museum is not going to go away either. It's going to be around. But I just I want I was proud to be just a small part of of this fundraising event, and I just thank everyone who pitched in and uh, gave what you can. You know, a lot of us uh, have been very fortunate to have a career at this. A lot of folks do this amateur or as a as a hobby, uh, but they the love for it is still just as strong. And yeah. so the fact that anyone can give five dollars. Fifty dollars, you know, or more, mm -hmm. uh, it really makes a difference, and yeah. and uh, you don't think so, but it's just like one vote makes a difference. That's one dollar right. donation can make a huge difference. It really does. Well. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, Dennis Acosta, thank you. He just donated. Uh, he, I got to tell you guys, one of the sweetest men out there in general. Uh, I, yeah. I, you know, I don't know if, if you guys have caught this yet, but I'm going to put this up here. Dennis has gone back to building Clinton Detweiler's uh, little um, oh, boxy yeah. guys. Yeah, oh, look so cute. Look at that there. There I am. Look at that. Good to see you all. Yes, absolutely. The hat, everything. It's just so well crafted. He's, cute. He's such a good, good man, too. He's a really good man. This showed up at my house. I'm going to just do a wide shot very quickly, which you have to do for me when I'm on camera. But, um, but just how beautiful this little guy is that Dennis made. And he's such a good man. We have so many talented people out there, the little feet, uh, just a, a great, uh, a great creation. He's such a good man. So, Hey, uh, Lisa, I'm going to put this back up here. Okay. Anne asks a very, very good question. Yes. Hi, Ann. Thank you. And you're always such a supporter of the museum. Thank you so much. Uh, Ann has uh, literally donated like, every single time I've ever done anything. So, and I appreciate it so much. Um, the, what we're doing is uh, you go to the website, venhaven.org forward slash donate and donate a minimum of $15. And I will get an email when you do that. And then I will send you a direct Facebook link for the group. Um, and then you'll just have to, uh, ask to join the group and I'll let you in the group and that's all there is to it. And that the event again is Monday night, Monday, the 23rd, this coming Monday at six o'clock Eastern time. It'll be about 30, maybe 40 minutes, but that's, right, so, there it is. There it is. Go there. Yeah. And, um, and then as soon as I get the donation, I email you and give you the rest of the information. That's incredible. That's great. And in fact, you know, Lisa, I'm going to go ahead and create a new banner right now as okay. we're talking. Uh, you said Dwayne uh, already donated, right? Yeah, the people that added in since we've been online are Dwayne Eccles, Dennis Acosta, Dennis Acosta, Brittany Middens. Hold on, and spelling is not going to count, ladies and gentlemen. Brittany, are you a B? Is she an A N Y or A N Y? Two T's, A N Y, and Middens uh, is M I D E N C E. M I D E C E. -E. -N -C -E. Okay. okay, who else? Uh, David Herod, H E R E I D. H E R E I D. E R E I D. Keep them coming, guys. Keep them coming. Yeah, no kidding. It's so, yeah. it's, it's, so it's such a big deal. Uh, essentially, everybody that's donating is making up for a tourist that couldn't come this year because we were either closed. We lost the first, I think it was the first six weeks of the season. We weren't allowed to be open because of the virus. The governor didn't allow museums to be open. And then when we were open, I had to, we had size restrictions on the group. So I couldn't have more than nine people here at a time. So I didn't have any bus tours. I didn't have any open houses. I didn't have any of those, uh, any group events, any churches coming or anything like that. Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, just because those groups are usually 15 to 20 people at a time. So it was, um, I gave tours every day. But it was to small families, you know, couples or a couple with a couple kids. So it just wasn't the same as it normally is each year. Yeah, that's incredible. I think I spelled one name wrong, but David, just forgive me. I'm I'm trying to do all, do it no, all one time. Is saying you got right, but Brittany's it's Middens, M I D E N C E. Brittany, so. spend another fifteen dollars and I'll correct. It. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I love you, Brittany. That's hold so on, Brittany. I'll fix it. Good gravy. All Good right, gravy. tell me, tell me again. M I D E M I N C. M I D E N C E. Good middens. N C E. <laughs> All right, I think I got it right. I feel like I'm on. Okay. I feel like Middens. I'm on a national spelling bee. Is that one right? Yeah, that's it. 
All yep, right, good. that's it. Good, good. So let me go back to the beginning <laughs> of, of the folks here who have donated one more time for them to come through. Then I'm going to put the URL up. So while I'm waiting for these names to go by, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get out your credit card. It is time to get your PayPal warmed up. I'm going to put the link up here again, and we want you to go ahead and join this. And notice my name's not up there yet. I haven't signed on. I've been so busy putting this all together. I wouldn't put my name up there anyway, but um, I still have to do it. So, you know, look, we're all guilty parties in this. $6,000 was not realized for tourism this year. Yeah. So we need you to help out. This is kind of like a telethon. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you do a good Jerry Lewis? Me, Jerry, lady, oh, lady, <laughs> you can bring in fifteen dollars. It's oh, uh, yeah, oh, Dean, uh, oh, oh, Dean, oh, oh Dean. Hey, I'll try to do my Dean Martin and say, uh, why don't you oh. straighten yourself out there? Oh, help me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you, Dirk Ron. Dirk Ron just donated. Thank you, Dirk. Who's that now? Hold on, you know, Dirk, Dirk, who did Dirk Glon? D I R K G. L-A-H-N. Look at that. Look how fast we move, Dirk. I just want to point this out. Look how fast we move. Are you ready? Here comes your name, Dirk. Look at that. Woo! Look at that. I see your name up in lights, folks. Go ahead and donate. I do want to tell you, we are just moments away from a very special guest. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to double check the uh, texting there and make sure we are on schedule. And uh, in the meantime, because uh, this person has been busy, busy, busy doing uh, lots of um, uh -oh. lots of media tours here. So I will just check and make sure. Mary Brown Rosner just donated. Thank you. All right. Hold on. I can only go so fast. Who was it? Sherry. S-A-T-R-E-E. -E. Hmm? I know Sherry. Brown. Brown hyphen Rosner, R-O-S-N-E-R. And Kay Ann, I, yours didn't go through yet. I see that you put that on the list uh, that you asked if it went through, but I don't see it. So it's not here yet. Yep. So um, that's fantastic. And I'm going to go ahead and update that. And uh, Thanks, Sherry. Lie. There you go. Good deal. Let's Good deal. See, here it comes. Did he get the spelling right? Did he? he did. Yay. Oh my gosh. Listen, <laughs> uh, you were a school teacher and it's a lot of pressure to know that you're watching my, uh, my work. So yeah. Oh, look at that. That. do that again. Do that again. That, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. And I look a lot like Margaret Hamilton when I want to. Actually, I have, flashback, I have flashback to Miss <laughs> Lee. I had an art teacher in the seventh grade who did not like me. And she, yeah, I don't know what it was about her. She did not like me. And that's imagine that looked like, Hmm. I know, Jim. Imagine or, that. Or All right, let me put that. That was kind of rude, Jim. I'm going to put this up here again. Dale, uh, Dale Brown told me to say that. I <laughs> I didn't even know that I could do this. Double banner. I've double bannered it. So while that's going by, I mentioned before, get out your credit card, go to your PayPal, get it ready. Uh, there are some of the people that have donated, and they are here going across your screen. We want to see your name get up there. And we are just minutes away from a very, very special guest, who's going to join us. And uh, I think you're going to be pretty excited about this. Santa uh, Claus. Uh, it is Santa Claus indeed. Yes, it is absolutely Santa Claus. Uh, yes, it is. So um, anyway, Lisa, while we wrap up, uh, anything that you want to kind of add to all this? Well, I want to thank Stephanie Pierce because she just donated. So thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, Stephanie, you're giving me, you're, you're making me work. Uh, PH, Stephanie PH, Stephanie PH, Pierce like the president or your ears, either way. Pierce like the president, spoken like a school teacher right there. Yeah, that's perfect. And most people yeah. are going, most people are going, there was a president named Pierce. Are you kidding me? I didn't know that. Hawkeye Pierce, I remember him, but he wasn't president. Oh, so. or Pierce your ears, either way. There you go. Good, good, good. Well, kids, it has been fun. Uh, Jim, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me give you one more full shot and your very special banner that I created for you. Thanks for being the theater. Thank you. Uh, and uh, it is always a pleasure seeing you. you, my friend. And uh, my blessings to your new wife and your beautiful daughter. And uh, so, so good to have you here, buddy. It Thank really you. Is. It's been my pressure. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I was so glad. I can't wait to see the virtual tour. Now, I do. I will have to say, you know, I did get married 
And uh, Monday night is our sixth uh, month anniversary. So uh, we'll see. I may have to, you know, start in and sneak into a side room or something. You but. sound like you're in middle school, six month anniversary. <laughs> Give me a break. Will Congratulations. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's been a strange year for everybody, but it's yeah. been. Well, congratulations. Uh, it's we love you, buddy. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank Good you to see you. Later. Later. Take care. Bye, Jim. All right. So, Lisa, do you want to uh, help me introduce this next guest? Well, is that who I think it is? It is. Okay. Uh, sure. I would say, um, honestly, from the heart, because I could be really, you know, sarcastic and snippy, but I'm not going you? to. You? Well, you know, but it's not convention week, so I'm not oh, all that right, 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 right. Um, Honestly, Jeff has been the, the most. You don't know how to do surprises. You already gave his first name. Oh, okay. So <laughs> our new guest is literally one of the nicest people I know. He has been the most supportive person of Venave, at least since I've been here. And by that, what I mean is I have asked him to, to do the most ridiculous things. And he has said, yes, he has Including signed on. pictures yeah. on the porch and he, yeah. he passed a hat at my very first convention to raise yeah. money for us to get a copier. He does little things. He does big things. He is always uh, behind. He only has five minutes. So, Oh, okay. So anyway, <laughs> He's a, pretty guy. He's a pretty decent guy. There you go. There's my introduction. So ladies and gentlemen, Sorry, I I was real. let me introduce uh, our friend and yours, Mr. Jeff Dunham. Hey, Jeff. Hi. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Lisa, thanks for, thanks for all the accolades and, and the best part about it. You did all that. And behind your head, the only name you see is Darcy Lynn. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so, so thank, wait, my hair is messed up. Thanks a lot. Okay, no, it looks great. Looks <laughs> great. You've been at it all day, buddy, haven't here, you? You've here, been here. at it all day long. Huh? You've been at it all day long. You've I have. I have I, and tomorrow I have literally. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with my hair? What happened? Right. We'll it's worry about it later. Hold on a second. You want so me to yeah, take your screen for a second so you can fix it? There you go. Hold Looks on, good to me. Want to see my press schedule tomorrow? Hang on one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'll be right back. Lisa, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up with you in just a minute. So okay. um, yeah. No, Lisa, stay. You have to stay, Lisa. I do have this scarf that a fan of yours sent me. Wow. That's nice. I hope they're not selling. Here, show that whole thing. There you go. <laughs> no, it's just a scarf of fabric. Wow. And, and 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 thought I should have it because it's got your. It's. I don't think that's bogus. It might be, but I don't think it's. No, from no, that's here. legit. That's great. That's really. Yeah. Nice. So anyway, they made a scarf. So I do have a reference to you up here. I mean, oh. it is just a scarf. But I hope that counts. I don't know. Well, it might be kind of weird. I have both your and Al's picture on my. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, look at this. So yeah, I'm on a press tour for my uh, my special, which comes out a week from tomorrow. My Comedy Central special. And, and the name of it is. <clears throat> you ready? I have to. I tried to memorize it, but I can't. The camera, <laughs> the camera. So it's a uh, Jeff Dunham's completely unrehearsed last minute pandemic holiday special. There. It's great. I love it's the perfect. name. Perfect. Nice. Thanks. And you know it. what? I I said that as a joke. And, and I said, you know, we're all sitting around going, what do we name the thing? And I came up with that and everybody laughed. And I went, send that to Comedy Central. Let's see what they say. And, and, they, and, they, and they actually came back and said, we love it. Yes. So uh, <laughs> great. Awesome. And, and yeah. I got to say this before we uh, get going here. This special, and this is absolutely true. And I, I did this so I could actually say this and have this interview. Is that um, uh, 100% of this show, except for one bit with Peanut at the end of his, is uh, uh, I sat down with a, a few of my writer friends. We all wrote uh, jokes. They didn't do it together. They wrote, of course, separately. I told them characters and subject matter. They wrote jokes. I wrote jokes. They sent them all to me. I sat in my office for two or three weeks and uh, five hours a day and cobbled together all this stuff, appropriate jokes, rewriting them for whatever characters to make them fit and uh, uh, the subject matter. Put this all together on a computer. I didn't tell one joke to one friend to Audrey, to my wife, to anybody. Didn't speak any of these jokes out loud. And went on stage, and the first time I tell every single joke, except for Peanuts bit at the end, uh, it, it is done for the very, very first time on stage for that special. <laughs> that's incredible. Yeah. yeah that's That'd be great. So basically what I did was I talked Comedy Central into buying an open mic night. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. great. Yeah. You guys so, start a trend, and, and, as always, right? And, and, huh? You might start a trend, as always. Yeah. Uh, I hope not, because it, it could have gone horribly, horribly wrong. 
but we did it for a hundred people. And, and that's, what's weird going from what my usual size audience is uh, to that, to a hundred people, everybody properly socially distanced with masks on, uh, you know, more than no more than four people at a table. And we did it right. And we shot it, I guess it's been three weeks now and nobody got sick. So I guess we did it right. Um, but that's kind of incredible. Three weeks uh, ago. I, I mean, that's fast work, isn't it, for television? Oh, yeah, it was crazy. I mean, I, I came up with that, this idea not more than two months ago. So that's how quick this all came together. I was sitting around depressed and, like, not knowing what to do with myself, come, you know, all kinds of hobbies and playing with this crap behind me all the time. <laughs> um, uh, and, and I said, I saw some other guys doing specials, and I went, you know what? I could do this, and I think I could do it just as well, if not better, because I got the characters, and it's not monology. It's it, dialogue. And... Uh, uh, as we all know, I think that's a huge advantage to being a straight monologist because we can have conversations and build tension and uh, uh, set up and punchline is so much easier uh, and more fun. So uh, that's what I did. And it's a three special deal. So we got the it, they want this one and they want two more. And wow. uh, when they do Paramount Plus, which is their streaming service, I know they're probably going to want another one then when they want launch that. Yeah. Now I think it'll be in the spring. And are we all going to be locked down then? Who knows? But if we do have to do another one just like this, I, I'm going to wait until it's see what the public reaction to this thing is. I, I think it's going to be pretty good because it's it's not shabby. It, it's a beautiful venue. I, here's the stupid part. We shot it in Malibu, California. Mm -hmm. I've lived here for 30 years. That's 20 miles from where I live. I thought Malibu was all beach. Somebody say Malibu. I, I thought, oh, you're going to the beach. And they said, we found a great venue in Malibu. I thought, oh, that'll be nice. We have the ocean behind us. That'll be really nice. No, it's in a freaking canyon. It's in the mountains. So uh, yeah, I had no idea. It's in a winery. <laughs> ah, wow, that's cool, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. And, and yeah. the shots. Oh, my gosh. It, it's so... Uh, I, I designed the set and then uh, my buddy Bruce Ryan and his company built the set and it's just mm -hmm. beautiful, but it's very simple. There's no, everything is, is, is uh, simple and charming and there's no set changes. We didn't stop down. We started the show and kept going. We didn't, nobody, no stage hands came out and changed up uh, uh, cases or any of that garbage. It was just me on stage and, and that was it. And in the line on the, one of the shots, when I walk out, you can actually see the moon and Mars. You can see Mars for God's sakes. Wow. Um, so it's great. But let me show you for people who don't know when you do press like this, like this is my, this is my, these are my radio shows just for tomorrow. So there's the first sheet. Each one of those is radios. There's the second sheet. That's like oh, 10 more Lord. radio stations. Oh my there, God. Then there's the third sheet, a bunch more radio stations. And then there's the fourth sheet with a few more radio stations. And that's just one day. Oh, I, I'm on Adam Carolla tomorrow. I was on uh, Mario Lopez's show today. I guess that'll air. Did it air today or tomorrow? I don't know. What a nice guy Mario Lopez is. He is a nice guy. I like him. Yeah. 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 So, so, Jeff, let me ask you, though. You, you, you threw all those up. Those radio stations are not just on the West Coast. It's 5 o'clock p.m. where you are now. What time are you going to be up tomorrow morning? It's not bad. My publicist is really nice about this. He set this radio tour up. It's only from 6 to 8 a.m., but it's an interview every 10 minutes. Um, wow. Uh, yeah. So, uh, incredible. but yeah, you know, so Jeff, I, I almost introduced you. I meant to introduce you, but Lisa just went on and on and on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but she wants, you know, she wants money, Al. I no, know. No, no, no. I no, believe me. I, guess. Ahmed. I mean, come on. Oh, you're right. I know she's been hounding me for an Ahmed for years. And I, I've been I, on, on, on you for an Ahmed for years too. But anyway, that being wait, said, wait, 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 wait a second. At uh, least the answer is yes. <gasps> Yay! Oh, oh yeah. my God. Wow, you heard it here. Breaking news. Well, wait a second. But 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 I don't know when. <laughs> but the answer is yes, and we're talking about the one zero 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 thing, right? Yes. One, zero zero zero. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. So the answer is yes, and I, you know. I know what you want is you want an Ahmed that's been on stage and performed, right? Well, sure. There's only one of those. I know. That's what I tell the tourists when they say, why don't you have an Ahmed? And I'm like, because there's only one of those. There's but one. So, huh? I, I mean, I have a stunt Ahmed made out of rubber, but we still use that for, you know, when we kill him in videos. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I, I do have this one robot Ahmed. We call him Robo Ahmed. Uh, that we did for my television show 10 years ago, uh, where uh, he's actually like a robot where he can work by himself. Wow. And, yeah. But uh, I don't know. Well, listen, we've got a breaking news banner to put up here based on that. You ready? Here we go. 
Who did that? That's hilarious. That was me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely true. <laughs> so I, I guess what I, what if I made one that's kind of like Jose that I yeah. make and I paint him and everything. And it looks exactly like him. The only difference yeah. is he, not everything works on him. Yes. Whatever, you know, you've always been so generous with the museum, whatever you want to do at the, your fans are going to want to see it. So. All right. Well, I'll try, I'll try and come up. You know what we'll do? I'll know what we'll do is we'll um, we'll somehow use them in some of the couple of the videos uh, as a stand in or, or yeah. maybe we'll actually drop him off of something or run him over somehow. And then I'll put him back together and send them to you guys. He's, he'll, we'll say he's one that I used in some of our videos. That's it. That's the stunt Ahmed. Just there. like stunt Farfel. Right. Stunt, stunt Farfel. Perfect. Great. I love it. Yeah, that's great. See Fantastic. how you worked that out, Al? Al worked that? that for us. What's that? You worked that out for us. You negotiated the deal just now. I did. So let me put that back up here again. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you know, maybe, just maybe, God willing, I'll see the day. So uh, that's what we'll just call it. I will <laughs> not be here in 2043. <laughs> God. Yeah, no, you, you, you will not be there. I will not be here. I will not be sucking <laughs> air in my lungs. In yeah, you, you, you'll be buried in the well. Uh, you never know. I might have, I'll be somewhere, maybe behind the bleachers. Right next to lettuce. Man. Wait, is the well, the well got filled in, but is the well staying? No, the well, the building will be sitting on top of the old well. Yeah. Oh, so the front is moving yeah. forward? Yeah, it's way far forward. You need to donate $15 and come see the virtual tour. Wait a minute. I'll, I will put it up here if I still have it open. I don't still have it open. So, so compared to the edge of the driveway, is the building yeah. going to be all the way up there or further? The, bu uh, of the, the building. building is going to be, oh, you know where the circle is? Yes. Where the circle, the, that's going to be gone. The building's going to be sitting either up to the fence line. I mean, it's way far forward because we had to put the parking in the back. So there's you, got all the, you got all the neighbors drunk before they signed the papers to say, okay, right? I did not. Man, that's great. They said, what do you think? And they signed and it was great. So Good for them. That's yeah, it's, right. it's going to be really nice. Yeah. I'm ready for you to just kind of very quickly show him in great detail. There you go. What? Oh, the, there it is. There, there it is. See how far mm. forward it's sitting? I'm still trying to. Okay, I'm so the back. Is, oh, wait, so what, what happened to all the back? Wait, wait, the street's there. The That's street's the street. The top. There's a street. So wait a minute. So what is that parking in back? Yeah, yeah. parking in back. Mm -hmm. For like four people. Great. Yeah. With, and then <laughs> One, that two, handicapped three, up front. You can't what? There's a handicapped spot up front. Great. Right. Do you see that with the shrubbery around it? So Al will have some place to park. There it is. Yeah. And then there's the building <laughs> footprint. And the house is staying where it is. And the the um, Josephine Berger building is staying where it is. And the Jimmy Nelson building is staying where it is. That's great. So, That's nice. yeah. That's great. Wait, what's the uh, what's the little brown, like dead center up top near the street, the brown square right to your left? What's that? That's, that's my parking handicap space. Handicap parking. Oh, that's handicap parking. Okay, great. Yep. That's great. And when what's the part that juts out on the far right? What is that? Uh, that's just, we're calling that the stick out. <laughs> it's an architectural so term you wouldn't understand. So many jokes. Um, <laughs> where's my theater? Dang it. Well, the floor plan isn't visible here, but it's, I mean, you remember when I wanted to call it the Jeff and Audrey Dunham Center and you said, why? And I said, because it's the center of the building. So that you're, the, the Dunham Theater is the hub and then the galleries will go around it. So it's really but cool. It, how, okay, how but is it. it actually going to be a theater? It's going to be everything. It's going so to be. A, it's a multi-purpose room. Yes, but it will have a stage and it will have a sound system. Don't go to it. Don't go to it. Oh, there's, I'm not, there's I'm one of the right here. There's right one there. of the doors into it. It's got four doors to get well, in. I, I I I love the the uh, the tagging and naming of the rooms. I hope it's exactly like that. <laughs> <laughs> that is Brian, and it's in a. Do you have a? Uh, we've got an Oculus set, so the whole tour is going to be in 3D. And um, so Brian built this. And you know Brian pretty well. He's pretty techno dork. He imported all kinds of uh, crap into this. And, and he, <laughs> there's the bleacher room. You see, he imported this artwork of these dummies. That's great. But it's going to be fun. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's uh, there's W.S. Burgers exhibit, sort of. 
without Geneva, him. He would be proud. <laughs> Jock, Jocko looks exactly like him. And and the and the thing I, I didn't know that we had uh uh um um <laughs> oh, I can't think of his name. Alfred Hitchcock. Alfred Hitchcock, yeah, that's hilarious. Right, that's supposed to be Champagne Charlie. Good evening. Welcome to the museum. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> really nice. All right, that's great. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, yeah, so. there you go. So we just showed that to folks as a uh, as a premiere. For just yeah. a little bit of it. So, yes. so Jeff, before you go, I'm not going to let you go without just um, telling everybody who's really excited about this special. I think I have this right. Correct me if I do not. Black Friday, 8 p.m., but check local listings, correct? That's correct. On Comedy Central. And it's, uh, like I said, it is the most family-friendly thing I have done in a long, long time. Subject matter is palatable to 95% of the people. I avoided politics. There's not one political joke in there because if you're not sick of politics right now, there's something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so it's uh, it's that way. Uh, and uh, th there's only like three bleeps. And those were all during ad lib parts when Peanut was talking to the crowd and when Bubba J was talking to the crowd. And it was, they, we had to leave them in because it was laughing. Oh. But otherwise the subject matter is, you know, it's uh, PG, and I'm, I'm very, very proud of it. Because you know what? Sitting at home, uh, you know, with my boys or five-year-old twins now and with Audrey, well, we've all gone through all, I'm sure, everybody's gone through different emotional roller coaster thingies, and I went through all kinds of depression as well, I, you know. And sitting around, I thought, I, I somehow always watch these other guys come out with specials, and I thought, you know, and women, and I thought, you know, I think we can do the same thing and maybe a little better. So, um and if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. This is my twelfth. No, no, no. no. Um, um, so I thought, what the heck? And and we threw this thing together in no time. And uh, like I said, I think it's come out to really, really well. But I, you know, we just need the escapism right now. And if I can give everybody an hour's worth of, of fun that they can share with family and friends and and pass it on, then great. So I, I'm trying to get a big number for Comedy Central. Like I said, three special deal. Uh, I'd love for them to. Uh, be really, really happy. You know, what's funny is, <laughs> is what happened the first time um, when we did arguing with myself. That was back in 05 or 06. But um, so my management at the time basically had to beg Comedy Central to put me on because they thought there's no way. That's not our audience. Nobody's going to care. It's a ventriloquist. That's not going to happen. Who cares? So my management did the old showbiz trick and said, I tell you what, we'll give you this client to do a special if you'll put Jeff Dunham on too. Wow. We're like, oh my gosh, okay, please, I'm fine. And so uh, we're not gonna pay for it. So I financed uh, arguing, uh, 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 I financed it all and paid for it. And uh, we sold it to them and they aired it. They said, we'll air it one time. So they aired it and we called for the ratings, you know, on the next Monday. And they said, this is the exact quote, they go, um, we think there's a mistake. Uh, we'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <laughs> yeah. And the ratings were through the roof. So I, I, it was, I was so happy. And, and you know what they sent me? What's and again, uh, management has changed over. It's not the same people at Comedy Central anymore. So I will never disparage Comedy Central. I love the people there now. It's fantastic. But for that giant rating that they got, you know what they sent me? <laughs> what? An iPod. <laughs> yeah so i'm hoping that this time if we get a giant rating i hope they at least give me a laptop that'd be way better was but, it the um, ipod or the ipod mini which one was it it was it was just a plain old ipod <laughs> and, 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 and what's funny is now every time something big happens in my career i say to my business manager can i buy the ipod now <laughs> <laughs> that's great yeah. That's amazing. And, you know, I do want to emphasize again, too, on for TV time, I mean, incredibly fast how you did this. You you, you shot it. You edited it. And I, I saw the, the sizzle reel today. Uh, just I have to agree with everything you said. Beautiful set. Just looks fantastic. And I know well, it's I forgot. Be I forgot. Everybody can see that now, because if you go to, I guess, my Facebook, we put a link to it. Uh, yeah, you can see the, the promo, the Comedy Central promo that they put together, which they did a really great job. I love yeah. the announcer. I don't know who that guy is, but uh, yeah, I have yeah. a cheesy version of it. I, I got to get a, a good one for, of it too, so we can post that. But Thanks. I uh, we'll get that. But that's great. Yeah, it Thank looks you. fantastic. So again, I'm just going to put it up there, Jeff. Uh, Comedy Central Black Friday, 8 p.m. Check your yep. local local listing. 
One station, one station only. And I think you'll agree too, um, this time of year, people are just kind of, you know, your ratings are always, I know when you're on because my phone explodes every time. And people, you just have that ability to catch people and they freeze and, and they're there. And I, I don't know what the schedule is after the premiere, but they always do a great job. And all times, day and night, I'll pick up my phone in the middle of the night and someone says, I just saw Jeff Dunham on television. So, Well, thanks. Well, I yeah. hope this happens again. And I and I really did put heart and soul into this one. It was quick, but I, I just, you know, I know we sat at home going, what do we do? We're always talking about what are we going to watch? We'll watch 10 minutes of something and go, no, it's not, you know. It, so I just hope this is an answer to a lot of people who just want to have some fun. It's just, here's what the difference is. This is just stupid, dumb, goofy good jokes. That's it. What's what it is. You know what I mean? It's not, there's no highfalutin bits or routines. And that's the difference between what I did now versus what I've done before is there's not, I didn't have to practice these bits over and over and over again. It's just good dialogue and good jokes. And, and again, except for that bit with peanut at the very end, which, oh my Lord, I, I haven't done that bit. in I don't know how long I, that's the only part I was terrified about. Wow. But you know what though? It's uh, you, you've only called it the classic bit. I know what it is. Uh, cause you mentioned it's the Carson bit and you know, it's just absolutely to me, it defines you in so many ways. So let me tell you why I gave it up though. Um, uh, and, and what it is, it's the, it's peanut and he has a little dummy of me. And by the way, I didn't pull out little Jeff, the one that, that I, that I, I sell now. Nope. I went back to the old school. Oh, lecture. did you really? Yeah. The one that I built Aww. in 1983, I think. And it's this Aww. little piece of crap <laughs> horrible little thing and i pulled i couldn't believe i even found it i found it in a trunk and i thought okay this will be great so it's peanut it's that little dummy uh, that looks kind of like me and uh uh and it's jose jalapeno and it's the worm in the bottle and drinking the wine and not the tequila uh and doing the drinking bit and here's the reason i gave that up it's because it was we're doing a little documentary about this. My buddy Matt and I are doing a little documentary. We got the rights to Carson's footage. Uh, we're actually going to put it in the documentary of that. That was the very first time I was on this night. So I was on five times and uh, that was the first time. But uh, we're doing a documentary of how that bit morphed because I, my goal when I graduated from high school was to get on the Tonight Show. And it was, it gave myself 10 years and I did it two months before that 10 years was up. Um, uh, I graduated in, in what, May of one month, because I graduated in May of, of 80, and I was on The Tonight Show in April of 90. But um, uh, uh, we're going to do that documentary and show how that bit morphed starting in when I started doing it at Six Flags Over Texas in the summer of 79. And then it, I just worked on it and worked on it, worked on it uh, for all those years until I finally did it on The Tonight Show. And then, after being out here in Los Angeles and going up against real comedians at comedy clubs, I realized that that bit was great, the drinking bit was amazing, but it was never gonna carry me like a, a real comedian because I couldn't keep doing tricks. Right. And I went the Bergen route and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna have to have really strong characters and material that makes people laugh. I'm, I'm not gonna be you know, I, I'm not going to be Dennis Miller and have really smart material, but I can have stuff that entertains the masses. And um, uh, so I stopped doing those ventriloquist bits and and focus just on the jokes and the relationship and the characters. And I it's think a, that's what makes you the hardest working guy in show business. I mean, oh, nice. it's always fresh. It's always there. And it's just um, it's it's incredible. Just incredible. And you know what people don't know, Al, is you and I go way back because. Uh, you and I would talk after every single television uh, performance and you'd give your very honest critique uh, in, in, in the most masterful way because you would, if you had criticism, you'd do what you're supposed to do. You'd give all kinds of accolades, then one little, and eh, maybe, and then more accolades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and then I would come over and pick you up off the floor. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> that one, you get a thousand compliments and one person goes, you know what? You admit that ruins your month. Ruins your no, that's why social media sucks that way. Abs hundred percent. But, yeah. but you know, you, you just, you, and I'm not blowing uh, smoke up because I don't need to, but you just keep making it better. You keep, keep reinventing. And um, to do this special this time around, you've nailed it. I mean, the comments are coming in from people, you know, this is the time of year that people are just that the, the, the timing of things kind of shutting back down again, not great. The fact that, that you're coming out with something 
Jeff, I know it. I know it from, from my, my social media, my phone, everything. When you, when you are out there, people just love to tell me that, you know, whether it's family or friends that I knew a little bit or a lot, it just, it, you know, this is the perfect time for this. So, you know, we all, we all appreciate it. It's really good. I'm well, gonna I, hope, I, I hope it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can, I, you know, you know how I already know it's funny because I saw the sizzle reel today. I saw your face. Uh, I saw the energy, and I know you're nailing it. And you know, that's just it's obvious that you're nailing it. So um, it's going to be fantastic. Can I leave you with my favorite toy? Well, you know what? I was going to impose and ask you to show me a toy, but I'm like, right. no, we'll save that for next week. But let's do it, brother. Okay, I'll show you real quick. So, by the way, this this Frankenstein right behind me here, this Frankenstein mask, I had my, my next door neighbors were Harry and Larry Badeau when I was a kid growing up. And uh, Harry was a year older and Larry was a couple of years younger. And they went apparently went to, uh, grew up in Dallas. They apparently came out here to Universal Studios in Los Angeles and brought back a mask, a Frankenstein mask. And as a kid, Frankenstein was my favorite monster. And when they brought this back, I thought this was the greatest version of the Frankenstein monster I had ever seen. And I begged them for years to sell me that mask, and they never did. Years go by, I look for that mask. I, when eBay came out, I'm like, I'm going to find that mask. And I swear, every five months, I would get on eBay and try, and I could never find the mask. And my buddy, Matt McNeil, who does all my stuff for me, he's a big horror mask guy. And he said, did you ever look under this name? Um uh, Don Post Studios. And I went, no. He goes, that's probably who sculpted that thing for Universal way back when. We looked under Don Post Frankenstein mask. We found what that mask looked like. And I said, I haven't seen that face in, in 45 years Aww. or 40 years. And I said, we got to find one of these. So Matt had connections. He's on the boards. And he found a guy that actually sold me uh, this thing or sold it to Matt. And Matt sold it to me like a drug deal. <clears throat> but this is the mask. Oh, and wow. it's like, that's like, you know, of any audience that has ever seen this, uh, you, you, our audience right now should appreciate it just from the sculpting of this thing. Absolutely. Because it's a caricature of Karloff. Yeah. It's not yeah. what Frankenstein actually looked like. It's in the monster. It's a caricature, and it's just brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely so, it is. Yeah. Let me ask you, do you remember to um, – that mask reminds me of it. Comic books when we were kids – there was, I used to advertise a six foot Frankenstein. Did you ever send away for that? I, I have one. I have you it. Really? You know what it is. You know what it is. No, I don't. I never it's ordered a poster. it. It's just a poster. Oh, no way. But the artwork and the color is brilliant. I have it rolled up in the corner over there. I have, I've yet to uh, get it framed or something, but it is six foot tall. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I can't remember wow. the artwork name, but let me show you my favorite toy. My kids, right. are, waiting to eat, my kids are waiting to eat dinner. Here we go. So Frankenstein monster, Frankenstein monster, and and here's why. Okay, ready? Yeah, hold on. Just wait for it. All right. All right. He's kind of scary. A little bit scary. A little bit scary. Wait for it. Here we go. Ready? Ready? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's comedy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> comedy. Now we're getting to my brand of comedy. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> hey, by the way, I don't know if you saw this or not. I'll hold it up for one quick second. Bill yeah. Nelson just sent me this. This is pretty incredible. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This that's is pretty cool. amazing. So. Wow, that's great. Yeah, it's all it's Lon Chaney, and the the illustrations are amazing in here. But wow. um, anyway, I'll get one to you. But it's just that's an beautiful. incredible piece of work yeah. on Bill's part. So. Well, Jeff, we cannot thank you enough Yay! for being here. Oh. Let me throw it up on the screen one more time. Remind people, uh, Black Friday, 8 o'clock, have the whole family in front of the television. Uh, nobody from outside your family can be in the house, so to all your friends. <laughs> <laughs> and go, check, and, out my uh, YouTube, go check, check out my YouTube channel, and, and you can see Darcy Lynn <laughs> and I do a Halloween video. <laughs> oh, that's a great video, by the way. Huh? That is that is a really really oh, good man. video. It's a cute and little video. It is. She did it's an great amazingly job. great video. Everybody did a great job. You're only in it for about a, what thirty seconds at the end, you know. But um, just a really well. Again, it's another compliment to who you are in this. I'm also going to throw this up here, uh, Jeff. Monday night. Tell me what time again, Lisa. Uh, six o'clock Eastern time. Six o'clock. Yes. Virtual tour of Vent Haven uh, Museum, which is, is why Jeff stopped by here too to help us promote it. Uh, yes. Donate. We have six thousand dollars in 
in, in tour revenue to make up. And so yes. we're asking you to donate. How many, any more donations while Jeff was talking? Yes, Jeff, will you thank Stephanie and Gina and Kathleen for me? Thank you, <laughs> Stephanie and Gina and Kathleen for thank your Thank you. Wow. It's going to thank good you. Cause. Thank there are starving dummies in that museum. They really are. I don't share anything with them. Yep. Let me roll the video of the dummies in the cages. Hold on. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What Wait, there's a gentleman. Sarah McLaughlin. Here she comes. Oh. That, that's a great idea for a video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is laugh out loud. I will remember you. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. Will <laughs> you remember me? Oh my gosh. And then one liners of the dummies. Yeah. We, we get somebody to do a, a knockoff Sarah McLaughlin, McLaughlin uh, song. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I swear. Yeah, I, can, I mean, I, that's I, why you can't have nice things. I, I, I swear I, I can make it go viral and it would raise money. I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I see it, Lisa. It can happen. Wow. Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. man! I'm, okay, after I, I hey, after the boys go to bed, I'm calling Matt. This is a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> this is wrong, wrong. But boy, is that funny! All right, yeah, let me fun. let me. Put, I, I can't do that breaking news one fast enough, but I can try. <laughs> <laughs> breaking news, new video, Ben Avery Museum. All right, Thanks, Kent, well, listen, it's been fantastic talking to to both of you and. Jim Barber, thank you for joining us. Dale Brown, we love you. Sorry you couldn't be here with us tonight. Dale was going to join us. But ladies and gentlemen, again, I'm throwing it up there. Please go ahead and join the crowd here. We'll throw some more names up as we say goodbye. Um, people who have donated. Thanks, Jeff Dunham, thank you so much for being thank here tonight. Uh, it is guys. incredible having you. And we'll see you uh, next week, Black Friday. Uh, tell us the name of the special again. Get your piece of paper. <laughs> Jeff Dunham's completely unrehearsed last minute pandemic holiday special on Comic Central Friday at eight, Black Friday at eight. After Yay! 20 reads today, you're still reading it, but you're right. You'll get it. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell everybody we said hello over there in the Dunham household. Take care. All right. Thanks guys. Thanks. See ya. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Well, Lisa, that was absolutely incredible. It was so much fun. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I'm glad Jeff yeah. didn't put me out of there. <laughs> well, no, this is uh, this is by request of Mr. Dunham. You stuck around yeah, for the interview. That's it. So yes. that's, uh, that's very good. I didn't want to hold you up either because, you know, you notice the five minutes. Uh, we just did uh, 40 minutes with Jeff. <clears throat> Every five minutes turns into 40. So It does. It does. Yeah. I'm excited to watch the special. I think that will be that will be so great to watch that. There's so. no doubt. I mean, when I say he's the hardest working guy in show business, it is not a lie. That's the, true. Uh, I, I, I just, uh, for the... The years that I've known Jeff, he never stops working. He never stops absorbing uh, and, and turning that into pure comedy magic. And um, he's just loved. I mean, he's absolutely loved. So I'm excited it's going to happen. Yeah. So uh, please do me a favor. Thank you, the uh, the wonderful uh, and beautiful Brian Sweezy, Sweezy yes. for this uh, tour. Yes. And again, folks, donate, donate, donate. Be a part of the crowd on Monday evening. Uh, again, how it works is you donate. Yes. You request to join the Facebook group. Lisa lets you in because you've donated. And then Monday, you will go for the tour. So That's incredible it. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We have a few parting comments from people. I always hate to leave the comments go. Uh, but uh, here we go. And Jim Barber. Th oh, Barbara got approved. Look at that. We can see her now. Uh, Tom Pace, always good to see you. you. Um, <clears throat> Ken, thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> Dwayne, thank you very much. Yay! Yeah, uh, Barbara's there again. Uh, Annie Brooking, look at that. She's the best. Brooking Roberts, yeah, there you go. Uh, thank you so much, Jeff. Really awesome. So good to have everybody's name up there. And, uh, yeah. folks, we just thank you for being here tonight. I promise you that, um, that we are going to get the interviews up and going again. Lisa, if I can give a little plug. Tomorrow, um, in fact, if you're okay with it, we'll put it on the, on the Venthaven channel. Um, uh, John, Jonathan Geffner has come out with season two of his, uh, of his, um, Trillo and Suede series. Um, oh. yeah. So he's going to join me tomorrow. It was just going to be LinkedIn and Facebook, but if you're good with it, we'll put it on vent Haven. His show has already won multiple awards. Um, oh, is that right? for, yeah, it's incredible. So that interview is tomorrow at, I think around three o'clock, but just watch for your little thing to pop up on your feed. And then coming up, um, short week next week, um, 
but then the week after that, uh, Max Fulham is going to be joining me again. Uh, we had a little bit of a technical issue, yeah. so he'll be out there as well. So I'll try to include as many of you as you can. Again, I want to thank the following people. Obviously, Venthaven Museum, Venthaven Convention, Woo! Ventriloquist Network, Sue Johnson, thank you. Edgar Bergen fan page, Tyler Ellis, thank you. Ventriloquist Workshop, Jimmy V, thank you. And, of course, uh, my dear friend, I just put his uh, interview video up again on the Top of the World event page, uh, you know, Conrad Hartz, we, we just love you and we appreciate all the effort that you give us for events around the world. So with that, folks, thank you all very, very much for being here. Lisa, good to see you. And I will see you. pet my sweet little dog for me. Okay. Thank all you, guys. Right. Take Bye. care. Bye. Right. Stick around, Lisa. All right, folks, thank you all very much. We're going to end the broadcast here and we'll see you again real soon.